I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Valerie Vicarud. She is the acting director for the Alice Paul Institute. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Jill. Thanks for having me. Before we get into this annual event, this year being celebrated on the 22nd of August, talk to us a little bit about what you do at the Alice Paul Institute. Okay. The Alice Paul Institute is located in Mount Laurel on Paulsdale. It's a National Historic Landmark. It's the birthplace and childhood home of Alice Paul. She was the suffragist that was successful in winning the battle for women's right to vote. She also authored the Equal Rights Amendment and spent her life uh, fighting to secure equal rights for women worldwide. And, and uh, we honor her legacy and preserve her legacy in order to develop future leaders. And you do that through a variety of different programs mm -hmm. that focus on young people. Yes, we have history programs and leadership programs, um, history programs for all students and general public, and uh, leadership programs for girls. So let's talk a little bit about what happens on the 22nd of August. This year it's 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's a celebration of Women's Equality Day, but this year is a little bit different. It's about the arts as well. Yes, uh, actually it's a larger celebration than normal because we are having um, so many uh, milestone anniversaries to celebrate. It's the 25th anniversary of the organization. It's the 90th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment. It's the uh, Alice was inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame this year, and it's the release of the first official biography of Alice. So we wanted to just celebrate women um, across the board, and we wanted to make it a larger celebration, so we included the arts. So let's focus a little bit on, on what actually happens. Talk to us a little bit about Mary Walton. She's, she's an author. Yes, Mary Walton is the biographer. Um, it's, Alice, it's Alice Paul, and well, no, it's a woman's crusade, Alice Paul and the battle for the ballot. And Mary's been researching at Paulsdale quite often over the past three years. And her um, book will be released in August, about a week before our event. So she'll be there to speak about um, her research. So that's just one of the things that's going to happen, have the chance to, to meet this author who has written the first biography of Alice Paul, but there will be music as well. Yes, we have the Anna Cruces Choir from Philadelphia. It's the oldest feminist choir in the nation, and they will be um, singing for us. They'll do a concert, and we have uh, female artists from the region that will be selling their arts and crafts, a variety of, of media. Now, this isn't just an event for women. You're encouraging families, everyone really, to attend. Absolutely. It is a family event. We have children's activities, and we have a lot of um, local vendors, food uh, vendors, that are supplying refreshments for the event as well. Now, talk to us a little bit about the Nina Allender exhibit. Yes, we have a, an exhibit on Lend to Us this uh, beginning that day. It opens that day, and it is from the Sewell Belmont House in uh, Washington, D.C. And it's, uh, Nina Allenda was a suffragist artist. She worked with Alice uh, on the campaign to win the right to vote, and her art was used widely in suffragist uh, uh, publications. Now, a lot to celebrate this year, the 25th anniversary of your organization, the 90th anniversary of, of women uh, achieving the right to vote in this country, the New Jersey Hall of Fame induction of Alice Paul, the first biography of her coming out. But you say this is a critical year for you as an organization because of funding issues. Absolutely. Uh, all nonprofits and his, uh, cultural and historical sites are facing um, reduction in grants through the state, through budget cuts, but also through private foundation grants as well. The economy has uh, really diminished the capacity of a lot of grant funds. So you're really encouraging people to get involved and learn more about your organization. And Valerie, we just have a short time left. Women's Equality Day is happening on the 22nd of August, but people really should think about signing up in advance. And do we need tickets? Uh, yes. Uh, you can purchase tickets or just register for the event through our website, www.alicepaul.org. Um, on our events page, there is uh, you can click on register now and you can purchase tickets. And it is really critical that we have a good turnout because we do rely a lot on individual donations and on events to make up for some of the losses in other areas. All right. Well, sounds like a fun one. And again, Women's Equality Day is happening on the 22nd of August at Paulsdale. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Valerie Bickerud. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.